How you doing guys? Out again. Today we're up in uh, Glen Turret. As I walked this afternoon, I'm going to try and go up and do a summit camp. We'll see how the weather prevails with us. So let's go up to Ben Chonzi. It's a nice flat top on the top of this Munro. So go on, let's go. Well, that's us coming up to the loch. So we'll have you look over here before we hit the hill path and hit onto the trail. So I'm going to follow that path all the way around. It's about a three, maybe four mile walk to the boat mid hill before we actually start climbing. So we've got plenty of time. It's a back of three there now, so I'm hoping to be up on summit, maybe a bit back of five. Half five. But there you go. Lock turret and there are wee fishermen doing it, fly fishing. Cracking day for it. Well, that's us onto the hill path now. It's not too bad, it's rough and ready, but. Hey guys, this is about uh, three quarters of an hour in. Ah, maybe, got maybe two and a half miles done. Stop and get some pictures on route. Ah, that's a cracking day. It's a bit overcast, but the forecast before I left here is favourable, so looking forward to it. Look at that. Look at the views. Absolutely splendid for us. They're a good word for you. Uh, today we're going to go up onto the summit of uh, Ben Chonzi and see if I can get a bit to camp up for the night. See if we can get a sunset. Fingers crossed. Ah, the paths are really good. Quite happy at that. The colours are all starting to come through and you can see the, the ferns start to unfold there on huh? the side of the hedgerows. And a bit of colour in the wee flowers in between, wee purple and pink ones. Don't know what they're called but you can see them falling along. And of course, there we are. Good stuff. The skies are starting to break, and a bit of blue sky coming through. where we start to climb and tomorrow depends what the weather's like we might come back down that way that's the way I came here last time fantastic follow the path all the way up there up onto the ridge right round and up onto the top there is Ben Johnsy scenery like this. Look at that, the path meandering through the hills. Well that's where we walked in from. That's been a good few miles now, it's what, 6k? So. Well, that's us nearly at the end of the valley. So we've walked our way in for a couple of hours. You see the track along the side there. There's another wee locking just over here on the left. That's us just at the base of the hill. So in the next sort of 10 minutes we'll start to climb up. And I reckon we should be something about maybe quarter to six. So here's hoping. Onwards and upwards. Trig point up in the first summit there to the right. That's not the one we're going. We're going up the middle. We'll go out to that summit as well and then we'll backtrack ourselves and go right away up, up the top up there. We're halfway up the climb. I stopped to get a wee breather. The moss that we're walking through the new and the heather, it's just uh, zaps the energy at you. So there's a couple of routes up. There's that one over there. That's maybe a bit of a scramble as you get further up. And this one here, you've got a wee scramble at the bottom. It takes you up onto the saddle and you can go right to the summit and then left up to the top of the one row. So we're taking the middle one today.
Oh, that's us through the boggy bit, we're following the old fence line up now That takes us there onto the shale scramble Which is up in the middle there, it's not too bad So, it takes us right up onto the top there Let's go along with it up the top A wee bit of scramble coming up through the boulders here. We're falling up onto the scree path, which takes us up there to the summit. Well, that's us up onto the saddle now, so it's up over that top there and about another half a mile, three quarters of a mile, not up on the top of the bench on there. but we're going to make a wee detour and we're going to take up here onto this wee summit which is... Right, we'll go this way, the sun's come back out again so we're going to get some cracking views for up here Cracking views up there see the wee trick so we'll make a wee effort to go across here Pick up this one, then double back and go up over the top of the buttress to our destination for night, which is the top of Ben Chonzi. What a view! Absolutely. Do they say, wish you were here? There's a summit stunt. Yeah, I just want to wander by it to see what the view's like at the other side. Wow, spectacular. Can you wonder why I make the effort? Absolutely stunning. There's a summit cairn So now to find a bit to pitch up for tonight Aye, great stuff You can hear the grouse, the ptarmigan, whatever it is That's us at the top of Ben Chonzi You can see the lock turret down at the back of us so we're up the summit, it's quite blowy so I'm going to try and find a place to pitch up for tonight There's a top cairn there I've come down off the summit, it's a wee hidden valley, it's on the back side here I know about So I've come down this way before, so I'll head down in here tonight to pitch up Because uh, there's plenty of shelter out the wind and uh, I've got a fantastic view So I'm going to air towards the rocks here just in front of me and that's where I'm going to pitch up for tonight Well that's us finally stopped for the night, there's looking right down the valley and right around along the loch side there's my view tonight. There's my setup. So that tonight we've got the MSR, that's the Elixir 2. That's where we are. So I'll let you see what's inside it. As I said, you kind of get a, a better view than that. So tonight, see my setup. I've got my Rab sleeping bag, I've got my silver foil underneath it, got my front line uh, air bed. So, what, 
So time to relax now. So I'm going to grab a bite to eat and a couple. So this bit will be close enough for me. There you go, down the valley. It's a sheer drop straight down there, but I ain't gone any closer to let you see but, uh, the view of the night. Absolutely stunning. Great to get a solo camp. If that was the trail I come in the day, you can see it along, carved along the side of the hillside there, walked all the way around. Round the bottom of this buttress here that you can see in front of me. Over onto that summit, which is over there on the left. Up there, and walk right down on the shoulder, up over the crest. Right up, up onto the summit and away on the back. And I bumped into a guy up the top there, he was out doing a couple of Monroes this afternoon. But it was blowing a gale up the top there. And it was really rocky, so we walked down. And I walked down there, the crest there, and down my left, and down into the wee valley here. And it's got a bit of shelter, so that's our set up for tonight. Good morning guys, half past five in the morning of the night, it's been some rain during the night but it's beautiful now. Go up and get a wee look. Oh, that's it, half past six, all packed up. And heading for home. What a great night. As usual, there's a few sighters left. Not a thing there. Great morning for a walk out though. Morning guys. That was a great camp last night. So that's a uh, loch turret behind me and we walked right up through Glen Turret and up onto Ben Chausey for a solo, solo wild camp and it was absolutely amazing so as usual if you enjoyed that get a thumbs up leave a wee comment below and I'll catch you the next time stay safe cheers mm -hmm.